So let's continue to the uh, to the frosted hills, chasing the grandpa. Can't imagine uh, chasing grandpa can be hard, but oh well. Oh, spiders! That I'm poisoning with my badass claw. I have a green claw and a red claw. Amazing! Oh, oh! Die, mimic! And all of the loot, all of the loot. Maces that I don't give a fuck about. Anyway. That aside, let's explore. Let's do the skill first and then explore. Oh, are they dropping like the next tier of health potions now? I hope so. Because that would save me tons of money. Oh, hello, spider. That's a, a very, very big spider. A very. Oh! Jeez. I, I was gonna say <laughs> that spider dies very quickly. But it was a tiny little spider behind the spider. Big spider. Anyway, it wasn't much of a problem here. So I leveled up. So let's do um two two one. And oh yes, I should uh be putting some points in. Uh, what was it? I don't know. Zephyr's Rush. No. I don't know. But. Oh, it's Battle Rage, I think. I don't know. But there was a skill um, that, like, increased the chance of uh, shredding enemies' armor. Aside from shred armor, because that seems kind of obvious. But it was Shadow Burst, but I am not going to spend any skill points in that, because it's not really a skill I'm gonna use all that much. I, although, I don't know, it heals, right? Yes, 5% of your health, and I'm dying a lot. Actually, why not? Why shouldn't I be putting points in this? Now oh, it's so hard. Putting points and skills is the hardest thing for a gamer. Alright, anyway, um, just to be safe, I'm going to spend my points on uh, Frost Breath for now. Yeah, all damage taken is increased by 30%, that's a lot. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Exploring on. More loot and wolves. Apparently. They went down very quickly. I guess because of my new badass claws. They deal so much damage. Not even a single spider slash wolf can beat me. Wow, I'd like to see me dying now. Now I have these uh, these monster slaying weapons. See, they don't even have the time to attack me. Oh, <laughs> lots of spiders there. Uh, yeah, burn them to death. Crits all over the place. Yeah, I'm going. I'm starting to feel a bit less underpowered now that I have these badass claws, and I spotted, I spotted the dungeon over there, the widow's vial. Probably a quest too. Yeah. Yep. Of course. Because why not? Although I've noticed that. Monsters in dungeons are a lot tougher. But anyway, little lost ones. Please help. Oh, damn it. Oh, help me. <laughs> Christ. Those little spiders deal a ton of damage actually. And they're with like 10,000 of them. 
Anyway, again, little lost ones, please help me. Our dear little ones wandered into that cave. My husband Finnis ventured after them, but is crawling with nasty creatures, and he hasn't returned. Right, so I, my guess is, they're children. Right. Oh, I'm beside myself with worry. Please find Finnis and protect our precious babies. Yes. Okay. So I assume it's human babies you have to help us alright I will you have received a I will lady <laughs> with a surprisingly male voice alright first buff ourselves up and damage wow spiders are going down Oh, don't tell me I have to hit every single spider. It's a good thing I have this frost breath, but still. It's kind of annoying too that you have to click on every spider. Es especially the small ones, they, they are even hard to just physically click on sometimes. Oh, and gels. I like them. I like those jelly, uh, jelly gels. Although they seem to do elemental damage. And I don't like that. But well. It's okay as long as they don't kill me. Wow. <laughs> These gels explode or something. <laughs> wow. Right. I my little eyes spotted a mini boss over here. <laughs> a goblin kicker and it's a spider. Sure, why not? No, not that he is he's doing much damage to me. Or not nearly enough to kill me. But he did drop some uh, some nice magic loot or air. Rare, rare loot. Uh, a brutal cannon. <laughs> well, I'd love to use that, but I don't use cannons. So, you know, these pens don't seem to be any better. Oh, these have more health, so definitely better than what I have now. Um, more boots that are useless. And. We'll wait for the the unidentified items to identify themselves. As I level up. Oh. Spiders uh, dropping from the roof. Not a problem. I slayed many spiders already. Place up a bit so I can see what I'm hitting. Big open area, so yes, I assume that's the boss. Winter Widow. Well, not for long. No problem at all. These claws just own every single monster on my way. This isn't really a problem at all. The spider is a bit disgusting, but oh well. More health potions. Let's light this place up more. I see tons of gold over there, so I'm gonna pick that up in a second. And so yeah. Gold. Oh, I forgot a chest. More gold and shit. Oh, more spiders. Um. I think you can help me. Venus. Okay, you. You came to rescue us. Thank the guardians. I've managed to keep Snowbell and Sunbeam safe up here. Don't tell me that these spiders are their babies. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Um, but I injured my leg. 
I can't make my way out of this cave while carrying them. If you'll take them to Beleth, I'll follow you out at my own pace. My thanks my thanks to you for your help. Uh sure. Why wouldn't I carry a couple of spiders around? Seems totally legit. Alright, anyway, this amulet seems better because ice armor pfft, we use this ice armor. Um strength. No, it's not better. This is crap too. Alright, so to the surface. And let's get this claw that's better than the one I bought before General Grell. Um or no, I'll go with the claw. Poison damage as well. More plus plus five percent chance to execute. That's very, very nice, very generous. Um so yeah. There be oh no shit. It, uh, damn it. It's the wrong hand. Yeah, so even more power. Now there is not a single monster that can stop me. I feel very confident now. Anyway, let's uh, get on with our adventure and uh, go away from the crazy little couple that has spiders as their babies or pets, I suppose. But still, let's cross this. Uh, ooh, this bridge with an enchanter on it. Very nice. Now I actually have some gold to spend on uh, different things. Oh, add sockets to items. Oh, that's very. Oh, that's amazing. Jurek the socketer. Right. So, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. And it doesn't even cost 1k. Nice. So now I have to get those sockets from uh, that I stored earlier. Oh damn it. Okay. Let's put it in everything. More sockets. Right, so this chest armor seems great. But I might replace it soon because Physical armor, I think every uh, single chest armor is as, as much physical armor and I don't really use that much focus. I need more strength and dex. So I'm not gonna suck at that. Well, my weapons are badass now, so let's give them two sockets. Fortune maximum sockets, alright, so I suppose two is the maximum. Fortune smiles nice. So I have four sockets to put in my weapons now, now to buff them even more, <laughs> even more than they already are. Oh, amazing! Uh, amazing! Ooh, hello, mimic. Or should I say, hello, gold? Then. Some spiders. They don't oh, oh. Hello. Uh, Monsters that came from nowhere. So that's on. Oh, hello. Is wait? This is this isn't. Greetings, traveler. Hmm. Can you assist me? I was traveling with the Grand Regent to the Watchwheel Temple when we became separated. I was hoping to rejoin him at the temple, but the doors have been sealed behind him. He was very ill when I last saw him. I think he might have contracted the same sickness affecting the other Astherians. No, Grandpa. Don't die. Alright, so I suppose I, I have to follow him. I to enter the watch wheel through the other portal in the old Astherian refuge. Unfortunately, the keys have been stolen. Goblin miners took one, and we believe that some slavers who recently moved into the area have the other. It takes both keys to activate the watch wheel portal, and it is beyond my abilities to retrieve them. Of course. Recover the pass key ember from the slavers, and the latch key ember from the goblins. 
You can use them to open the portal in the refuge and intercept the regent before he infects the guardian. Okay, so has this grandpa turned bad right now? I believe so. Anyway, let's go to the frosted hills and retrieve those keys from those damned goblins. Always the goblins. Oh, it's taking a bit of time to load, so apparently it's a big map. Which means more to explore. Oh, hello, a sword that came out of the chest. Alright, alright. Um, anyway, let's level up and then go back to the city with via this portal. Because I feel that I have some shit to sell and buy. What the hell are these guys? Nether Thrall I saw, something like that. Okay, I'll take it. Just... Uh, at least they made me level up, so I'm not gonna complain. I can't put any of those two, which means I'm going to have to stick points in. Shred armor, I believe. I'm going to... Yeah, why not? More armor for me, less for them. But yeah, that's the reason I had to go back. I had to uh, retrieve those uh, gems. To the Asterian Enclave. Again. Alright. So. First of all. Let's oh, man, sell this junk I picked up along. Um, oh yeah now now these boots aren't any better now then focus is a lot actually I'm gonna have to think about that for a second huh yeah I'm gonna wear these boots because I mean come on then focus it's it's pretty much for one piece of equipment I can sacrifice like 50 health for that now that I have, that I have these amazing weapons and and what else, what else actually what, what do we have what do I have oh yes and a shred armor which makes me die less and so far it helped so can't complain oh one more physical armor, 7 dex is always better than 10 focus and health and more gold sold I'm gonna buy them right away and sell these boots nice 